Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the MyWP Translate, which is a simple yet powerful translation plugin for WordPress, which can be used with most WordPress themes and plugins which support translation. Now, getting and installing with the plugin is very simple. Head over to your WordPress dashboard and then click on Plugins on the left-hand menu. Here you want to click As New and then do a search up the top right-hand side for MyWP Translate and hit return there. That's gonna bring up the search results and you're gonna see MyWP Translate by My Theme Shop. It's available here. You can just click Install Now and WordPress is going to download that onto your site and you can click Activate. With the plugin activated, you're gonna see that you've got an extra option down the bottom left-hand side called MyWP Translate. Clicking this is going to take you to the MyWP Translate control panel. Now here you've got the uh, main dashboard for controlling the plugin. On the top left, you're gonna see you have the name of your theme. So here I'm using Interactive by My Theme Shop, so I've got that there. And I've also got the option to add plugins. We'll cover plugins in a moment. To customize the translation on your theme then, you just want to click on the theme name, and that's going to bring up this section here. You can activate the translation panel just by ticking this box and you're gonna see that that loads up all of the text that displays on your theme as a box where you can enter your translation. You can change how many strings display per page. So if I wanted to have this set to 100 just to reduce the number of pages here, then I can do that. I can click through these numbers to access all of the text displaying in the theme. And to add a translation, all you need to do is just to type it in here. So to translate this text here, I just need to type it in here. So I've added that there in French and you saw as I added the translation, it went green. This means that uh, the text has been saved automatically and that translation is now live on my site. So I'll just head over to my site just to show you what this looks like. This is the homepage, but if I load up a page which doesn't exist, we're gonna see we've got this headline here displaying in French. The rest of the text is in English and if we head back to the translation panel, we can see we can enter additional translations in there. If you're looking for something and can't find it, you can search the translations using this box here. So if I was looking for the text saying, oops, we can't find this page, I could just type in oops here. And we're gonna see that's gonna return the text there. And I could just type in my translation here. If I delete that, then we're gonna head back to the rest of the page. So if you're looking for some text that's specific and you can't find it, then you can just search translations, just type that in and that's going to find the results for you. If we now just refresh our live site and uh, find that same error page, we're now gonna see that we've got, um, as well as the title translated, we've also got the line below it translated. And you can of course just go through the rest of these in order to find the text that needs translating. That's really all there is to it actually using this plugin. It's incredibly powerful and incredibly simple. You just need to go through and add the different translations for all of the text displaying on your website. You're going to see at the bottom you've got a little progress string here um, and there may be a lot to get through but I'm sure you'll be able to get through them quickly if it, especially if it's a native language for you. Right at the bottom, you've got options to go through the pages again, as well as you've got toggle import and export options here. So clicking this is going to bring up the options for exporting your translated strings. So you just need to copy this to export it, and you can then import it into the plugin on a different installation, or just save it as a backup. To import, you just need to click on this one here, and then press import once you have pasted that in. If you want to download a .po file, which is a standardized uh, WordPress translation file type, then you can just press this button here in order to download a .po file of all your translations onto your computer. And that's really how you use the plugin. Now I'm going to show you how to add plugins to this in order to translate the text used with plugins. You want to press the Add Plugin button here and then select from your active plugins. If I wanted to translate WP Review, I could do that just by selecting it there and pressing Add. This is going to add another tab to the uh, plugin here. And we're going to see if we click on that, we've got the same options available here. I can enable the translation panel. And again, just go through and add the translations below each string of text. At the bottom, I've again got my import and export options. And I can create and download a .po file. 
You can add as many plugins as you like just by pressing add a plugin and selecting from your active plugins here. If you would like to remove a plugin, you can just press this X here in order to do so and just click OK in order to remove that. So that's really all there is to it, to using the MyWP Translate plugin. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly simple. Ultimately, all you need to do is just go through and find the text in the original language here and add in the translated text below. Very simple to use, very easy to use. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any queries, then head over to community.mythemeshop.com and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.